Hello, keep your fans and players TV home their way. DJ Ranger back in the house once again with just some general news and thoughts and views on the latest situation regarding players, etc. at the club. Um, Okay, we've, as we've all seen on West London Sport, etc. and so forth, about Bright S.A. Samuel going to Club Bruges in Belgium. Um, you know, and I've seen some of the comments regarding the value, etc. and so forth. Um, everyone's got their thoughts and views on it, of course. These are mine. Um, you know, in all the years I've supported QPR, um, that's what Rangers do, unfortunately. You know, they either buy players cheap or come through the academies, build them up and sell them on, irrespective of what we, me and you think, ladies and gents. Yes, of course, I'd love us to keep our better players and build around them so we can actually maybe challenge for promotion or winning titles or actually even winning a cup or two every so often, you know. But that's... That's the model of QPR, and that's always but has been that way, even before I was mostly born. Um, you know, so you know it's frustrating, it's annoying. I totally get that, but realistically, we've always done it. So I don't get why fans really get upset about it. I'm not protecting the board. I'm not sticking up for them. Um, I'm just as annoyed myself in a way, but in reality, the club have always done that. Built these players up, bought them cheap or from through the academy and sold them on. Um, yes, we'd all like that to stop, as I just stated, and actually start building a team around our key players so we can actually do challenge for titles or promotions and winning cups. But you have to think about it, ladies and gents. Look back in our history. We've always done it. You know, the, whether the value of the money, you know, that's down to the club, whether that's, whether we feel that's right or wrong, that's what they feel that player is worth. Every player is worth a price. And it's shown it in the past. Sometimes it's worked well for us. Sometimes it hasn't. You know, um, you know, players got potential. Then they go on to other clubs. Did they reach that potential? Some haven't. Some have. That's the gamble, ladies and gents. Um, you know, so we have to really think about it. Yeah, you know, we all want a good team. We all want to do well. We all want to win a trophy from time to time. We all want to keep the best players. But unfortunately, we don't. You know, even in our under, even in our academy teams, our young teams, our better players are getting taken away because the clubs can't afford to pay or what the, offer, the bigger clubs are offering. So it's even, ha even happening in our academy teams. You know, that's, that's life, unfortunately. And that's how it's going to be. In maybe years to come, QPR might be different. Their, their business model might be different. We've had to change because obviously people were taking the piss out of our team years ago, coming for the money. You know, who's thought that? Yes, that could be the board's fault for letting them spend the money, the managers who brought these players in. And then these players not doing a bit for the team, as we all see. Now the club have changed that because they want to do it the right way. And I think they are doing it the right way, but we have to suffer for it. So before you start commenting or saying that's too much money, that's, uh, no, that's not enough money that we should get for him. I mean, I'll use a prime example. Team from Hounslow, the bus stop lot. They had a striker who scored gold for them for fun. Right? They sold him to Brighton for X and Y amount of money. We sold whoever for next to nothing or a lot less. But the guy's got over 20 goals for, for Brentford the season before, or wherever it is. You know, that's what you've got to look at, ladies and gents. He's a striker, so he's going to be more money. Whereas who we, I can't remember, you know, but the players we have passed in, in the past that we have sold, that have gone for less. Yeah, Charlie Austin, Les Ferdinand, even if you want to go back that far. But at that time, that's what the club were happy with. Now, with Bright, going back to Bright, we bought him for about, £500,000 if memory serves me right, or in that region. And if we are selling him for £4.7 or £5 million, pounds, that's business for the club, unfortunately. As much as we don't like it, and it's not good, and it's one of our better players, but realistically, like, 
like Eze, he's got potential. Big potential. And like Eze, Eze went out on loan last year to Wickham. And Bright's been out on loan to Blackpool and stuff like that. And it's only within the last season and then this season, he's actually knuckled down and started performing more regular. So that's what you've got to look at as well, ladies and gents. But yes, I understand your frustrations and annoyance and stuff about getting rid of players and the, the, the fees that we're asking for. Um, maybe because of COVID, the, the, re, the reduction in, excuse me, in transfer fees has come down. You know, money. Clubs ain't got it or whatever the case may be. I could be wrong. Also as well, I mean, you know, I would like to sit down with someone from the club, whether they would tell me the truth, how it operates from the transfer fees, etc. and so forth. I would quite willingly do it. But whether they tell me the truth is another thing. Um, you know, so we have to think about, ladies and gents, as much as we're annoyed, frustrated, etc. in getting rid of our better players, who knows, Eze will most probably go, Bright, uh, uh, Bright's going possibly or gone. It's just a matter of sorting out the details. Chair, Manning, you know, if they go, hopefully we, we can actually replace them with some players. You know, because we are a bit thin on the ground, as you know. Um, but that's just my little thoughts and views on players, transfers, etc. and so forth, agents. And yes, you will have your opinions. And that's normal. But we just have to look at the bigger picture. Um, if we knew the answers to it, then, you know, on the flip side of that as well, before I go, you know, had we kept Samuel, because by the accounts, he didn't want to renew. I don't know if he wanted to renew his contract or not. I don't know. I'm sure I've seen somewhere that he wanted to go, possibly. Then what's the point in keeping the player if he doesn't want to play for the club? And if he does, then will he put in his effort all, thing, all season long or for the remainder of the games? So the club may as, may as well cash on him then, if that be the case. Um, but I'm not defending the board in one way. I'm just trying to put it out there for you, ladies and gents. Um, I'm not an expert, I, I don't claim to be one, but that's just my thoughts and views. And as I say, we have always done this over the years. We sold the players who we bought through academies or bought for cheap and sold them for profit. Because as a business point of view, that's what it's all about. They don't care about what the fans feel about these players, these you know, potential, these up and coming or these star players that we have. You know, if we can't afford to keep them or if they want to improve their careers and go on and possibly go to bigger and better things, then, you know, they're going to move. Unless QPR chains, then that's going to always continue, ladies and gents, unfortunately. But that's just my thoughts and views on the, on that situation, ladies and gents. It's DJ Ranger for QPR fans and Players TV, home the way. I'm out of here. Come on, you ours.